So here I am on a really hot sunny Sunday afternoon at a big field safe for flying. I've brought along my really nice looking red joysticks together with a little rubber strip around it. And like all my other videos, I like to use grass to show the height difference with and without the landing gear. Now my drone is currently powered off. However, something interesting to note was that when I powered it on, without the landing gears, I actually got the gimbal overload warning message. And comparatively, this is how the drone does with the landing gears. Now I've placed the thread adapter on, placed my GoPro on it in a really unique angle, vertically and 45 degrees from the front to the right. And let's see how it looks like. Off we go. And as for the GoPro, Okay, so the video looks crappy. But my point is, there's endless possibilities with this thread adapter. And if you pick the better angle to position your GoPro, you'll probably get really cool results. And there's also the added feature of getting sound off the GoPro if you like that buzzing propeller sound. And here's how the drone looks like together with the red lens filter. In fact, this red color looks so good on the drone that I may in fact prefer it as compared to the colors of PGY Tech and the ones by DJI. And to end off this mini outdoor flying excursion, let's do a little zooming since I've got the Mavic Zoom. Now back indoors, let's have a look at the next accessory, and that is the red filter lens. So first impression wise, this item feels very sturdy, it is very light and it's also pleasant to the eyes. Fitting it on takes a bit of time, but it goes across for all the other Mavic 2 filters as well. And that's really all I have to say for these filters. It is really good value. You can get the 6-in-1 set in the link below for even cheaper than 4 of the original DJI ones. But of course, if you are a strong supporter of original DJI items, please do buy from my affiliate link. I'm sure they will not disappoint as well. Now when you purchase these filters, it usually comes in a box such as this. Of course, there's nothing wrong with using this box. However, if you're looking for something different, there's actually a filter bag for your lenses. Now I was expecting the compartments to be much smaller and I was wondering if it could fit the Mavic 2 Pro filters. However, having the product in hand right now, I don't think it'll be a problem at all. Now you'll realize that the padding on this filter bag is extremely thick and will definitely protect your filters extremely well. Now next up, we have this monitor shade. I featured it in many of my videos, but here it is in real life. Now on the website link below, there are different sizes available, for example, L128, L168. And what all these numbers mean is actually the length of the monitor hood in millimeters. And these lengths exclude the arms which hold your phone. So for example, I've purchased this item which is L128, and my Samsung S9 is about 148mm lengthwise. And that's a good fit as you need some excess space for the Mavic controller arms to grip around your phone. And rapidly skipping all the boring setting up parts, here is how the final product looks like. And it may not be very obvious indoors, but outdoors this is sure to make a very very big difference. Now there's one by DJI as well and the price is of course much 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 higher. And in my next video, I'll also be reviewing this really simple small monitor shade. The price is much much cheaper, but I'm not sure if it'll do the job. So in my next video, I'll test it out. Now next we have the protective film, and I'll just touch on it very very quickly. As you can see, this set is specially made for Mavic 2 controller. And very quickly, here's a more cheap alternative which I have, for the Mavic 1 controller. But yes, it still does fit for your Mavic 2. So this item can be used for both Mavics. 
Next up, we also have the deco stickers. We have seen all the pretty pictures with the decals fitted on, but here's how the decals look before you fit it onto your drone. As you can see, if you are going to put these decals on, make sure that you have some time as it's going to take a while. And on the last page, you realize that there's also enough for the combo set, three batteries. And the finished product will look something like this. And of course, if you are interested in other decal stickers, in my previous pre-video of the Mavic 2 accessories, there are so many other extremely beautiful decals out there. The specially made item for the Mavic 2 is the propeller clips. Seeing that there's such a nice packaging, this one definitely comes from PGY Tech. I'm not going to dwell too much on it, this is how you fit it on. As per normal, PGY Tech, good quality, great fit, great packaging, no further commentary required. If you need something cheaper, these alternative propeller clips will be in my next video. And next up, we have the all-time favorite joystick guards. Yes, it is compatible with the controller case which I showed you earlier on. So I'll be making a video specially dedicated to seeing which previous model accessories can be used on your Mavic 2 so as to not make this video too long. But just to put it out there, none of the other joystick guards work well for the Mavic 2 controller. Next up, we have the longer cables. Now the ones you see in this video are 30cm long compared to the ones by DJI. Now it does fit onto the controllers for all the models, including the Mavic 2, but it's also just as shaky. Comparing the ports between the controllers, there is some visible difference. And moment of truth, the wires work. Now I am aware that there are some extremely cheap cables out there and I've purchased them myself only to realize that it doesn't work. So the link to this product in my description has worked well for me for all previous models as well as the one I'm using now for the Mavic 2. Now I'm not 100% sure if it will work for your phone model or if DJI updates their controller it may affect it somehow. But from what I've heard from other people as well as based on personal experience, the link which I've provided in the description to this cable has had had 100% workability so far. Next up, we have the PGY Tech lanyard adapter together with its lanyard. You can see this item in my Mavic Air video, not gonna dwell too much time on it. Now here's the old lanyard adapter, it will be featured in my other video, but just to put it out there, it does not work for the new Mavic 2. Range extender, it fits. And that's all for now. I hope the video wasn't too long for you. And in my next video, I'll be featuring the cheaper flashlights for the Mavic 2 as compared to the ones by PGY Tech. I will also have a look at some of the sunshades as well as have a look at the motocaps together with many other items as well. But for now, that's all I have for you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful, it was informative, and I hope that you'll have a better idea of what to get for your drone. Now once again, I thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any items you want me to review, just drop me an email. If you see anything you like in this video, all the links are all below. Do give me a thumbs up, do subscribe, and see you next time.